Well, hello Aquarius. Welcome to Sin and the Moon Goddess channel. So I welcome you here, Aquarius. If you've been here before, I like to say welcome back. If you've never been here before, I say welcome. And hoping you will return again. We're doing a reading today for October the 25th through the October the 31st of 2021 for Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. We do a 10 card Celtic cross spread here. Sometimes the spirit will give us more than what we need. We just take whatever is given. All right? We need three more spirit. Two more. Mm. They said, oh no, you need more than two. Mm. Oh wow. Spirit, that's a lot. <laughs> okay. Alright. There it goes. Aquarius. On the bottom of the deck is work, the three of pentacles. Either we could be getting awards for work, or we got new work, or our relationship is working out. Hey. Okay, Aquarius, before we get started, and if you haven't already, I would like to ask you to hit that button right there on the right to subscribe to Sin the Moon Goddess channel. Okay, let's go. Let's get it. Where we are now is the seven of swords. We're not trusting. We've been bickering about trust. Who should we trust? Okay. And then um, our challenges for the week is the queen of swords. Being bold. Um, goals. Also being nurturing. Um having balance using a logic and a heart so being balanced but goals is also there but nurturing is definitely there okay all right focus our focus of the week all strength patience yes should we go forward or should we just hold back i hear patience hold up you got the strength all right um, a recent past on the moon card. I had a little confliction here and there last week. Okay. All right. And our strength. Our strength is the hermit card. Uh, you know, our strength is we know how to go within ourselves to pull up the higher self when needed. Okay. All right. The, the future. Oh, oh, the inference. Either we, we want to have babies, we, we're going to have babies, or we're nurturing the family around us. <clears throat> okay, our approach for the week. Oh, we're manifesting. We're manifesting. Okay, our advice for the week. Oh, the devil card. The advice for the week is... Watch watch out for um, toxic relationships. Also, um, you a, a new start is about to happen here. You're going through a transformation. All right, our hopes and fears is the nine of cups. Yep, going through a transformation. Um, some something that you wish for is gonna come true. Something that you wish for is coming true. Um, you out um. You're weak. You're out. out. It's so many. I'm like, oh, oh, you're going to have a very good outcome of the week. You want to have some, some kind of confliction. Um, this is your car, so it couldn't be meeting you. You're probably getting awards, maybe even at work. You're going to have good luck this week. Yes, this week you're going to have very good luck. You got two, uh, you have, um, two aces here. Um, 
the ace of swords which is air is your sign and the ace of pentacles earth so it is to me it's saying you're going to have an idea and it's going to make you some money now something got you all up in your head um you feeling defeated feeling uh ancient ain't feeling like you have a headache too yeah yeah but as far as um yeah you your money is coming your way uh, idea that you ha you're gonna have is gonna make you some money yeah some of you are dealing with two lovers so that's another thing to have you all up in your head yeah okay all right spirit we're gonna start off with the seven seven of swords why are we having the seven of swords we're not trusting you see spirit yeah yeah that's what it well oh wow strong couple here yes it's a strong couple and some, one of you guys are not trusting that's what it is it land right on top of the imprints the imprints and the emperor okay <laughs> together they are together so you guys are ha having a little fight or bickering or money munch each other because one of y'all is not trusty and and that's <clears throat> yep that's what it is but you guys are going to finally um start healing each other yeah so it's saying to have courage yeah, it's, and it, it might even be something in your relationship that you found out about. It's, it's like three people in your relationship. And, and, and um, Spirit is telling you to go within yourself, to go up to your higher self. And you're going to be very successful in that and manifesting. Manifesting. And you're going to manifest a new love, a new love offer. Yeah, let's go to this four four cups, please. <clears throat> well, your love, the the person that you in love with is the one that's causing you to have all this confliction, and this is like a toxic, toxic relationship. Yeah, and it got <laughs> it has you all all bottled up, all worried. Um, one of you guys gonna want to end it. Yeah this relationship it's going to be a big change because it's going to be a new beginning for you happiness oh wow they saying once you leave this person you're going to get happiness towards energy some of you are going to turn to religion some of you are going to have have someone waiting and you guys are going to get married so that's why it was saying about the two of you guys. Yeah. Whoever that is, that's going to be your soulmate. Virgo energy, Taurus energy, or earth sign energy. Yeah, it's going to be, you You gonna, You guys going to love each other. Happy family. Yeah, it's some kind of earth. Earth sign. Yeah. Virgo, water, water is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So, yeah. But your money is going to look good, Aquarius. It's, it's going to start off kind of rocky. But then it's going to start um, moving up. All the way up to the eighth. Yeah. It started off looking. At the beginning of the week, your money didn't look that good. But it's gonna it's gonna improve. But something is gonna disappoint you, cause you have all these disappointed um, fighting cards. Yeah. 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 They um, the spirit wants you to pray and meditate. They want you to um, pray and meditate. You really need prayer. 
You need to meditate. Um, yeah, because you're going to have choices to make when it comes to this idea. Libra. It could be a Libra involved. Yeah, it's, it's an idea that you want to have. You have. Spirit is saying come with it. It's a good idea. It'll make you some money. But also it's telling you to nurture. You're a very good nurturer. You're, you're in your head about, about love. Now I'm talking to a guy. You're in you're in your head about about love. And they saying that you're going to be rebirth. Your love, your love is going to be healed. You're going to be healed and you're going to want you're going to want love. Got to go get them. <laughs> they face down though. So we don't need these. Okay. Yep, it's a new birth. That's why. And yep, victory and love. Victory and love. You're going through a rebirth. Transformation and you 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 were hurt in the past. And as far as love. Yeah. And now you're finding out you can love again. And so now is abundance of love coming coming your way. Yeah, it, it almost looked like you're going to be able to, you know, pick and choose who you want, Aquarius. But the person that you choose is going to be a lifetime. Came up to your own reading. See, <clears throat> yeah. And they also telling you to, uh, your goals, yeah. Tap into that intuition, listen to it. Because they want you to work on those goals. Work goals. They saying work goals. To go forward. Okay. Yeah. They want you to go for them. And if you don't have them. They saying to write them down. They want you to write them down. They want you to write them down. Put them somewhere where you can see them. If you have if you have your own business, they send to do that. Write it. Write your business goals down. Yeah. All right, the divine wants you to like I said to write down those business goals, okay? They want to <clears throat> They want also going to be in your in your love life cuz you if you're not already with someone that you love, you will be soon. And don't forget cause and effect. What you put out, you get back. So you put out love, you get love back. Okay? They want you to tap into your higher self. Because you're not doing that at the moment. And there's plans to be made. Come Something about traveling. Yeah, it's plans to be. Yeah, you're going to travel somewhere. But they also telling you, you have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, stop, stop crying over spilled milk. Get rid of the fear. Let the fear walk out the door. They send you fearing. About some idea that you have too. They want you to start acting like a boss. Because you're going to have victory. Yep, some of you guys going to get married. <laughs> victory, baby. <laughs> Some of you guys feel like that. Like I feel like there's a guy who who feels his woman is victory. Like this was their goal. This was 
one of their goals and they reached it. They got they married. Taurus, Libra, um, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. Yeah. And then um, your money is coming. Like I said, your money is, is doing fine. Now it's raised up to a king. Yeah. But they want you to get 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 rid of fear. They say an the offer is coming into you, but you want to turn it down because you're fearing. So they want you to get rid of it. They want you to heal from that. Yeah, an offer is coming in. And when that offer comes, they want you to be ready. They want you to be bold. Yeah, because it's going to be abundance. Abundance of money. They, see, they want you to have courage, patience. Patience with yourself. They say, patience with yourself. And then when that contract comes in, you know how to choose what you need and don't need. Because it's, it's, it's a wish that's coming true. Just go for it. Yeah, it's coming. You you manifested. They just want you to check the paperwork before signing. Yeah. That's it. They starting to say the same things. The divine is in your mix. All right, Aquarius. Go for it. All right. You know I can't let you go before I ask you to like. And share this video. And if you haven't already, hit that button right over there to the right. And subscribe to Sin the Moon Goddess channel. I am Sin the Moon Goddess. I'm out. Happy Halloween, Aquarius. <laughs>